wanted to just kind of start out by asking if, if you believe that the current service delivery model provides a cost-effective transportation solution for the uh, consumers of the shared ride programs, including MATP. Um, how it's, uh, it, it, I, there was one word you used in there that I didn't get. What did you say was the majority of the shared ride system? Uh, I was going to say the, the medical assistance transportation program. Oh, MATP. Program. Okay, MATP. that's what you referred to earlier, and then yep. you said that said that uh, later again, yes. Um, the shared ride services uh, are, you know, uh, are, are a challenge, right? When I was on the SEPTA board, that was one of the hardest things for us to deliver. You call ahead, you schedule it, and, uh, you know, uh, it's not always, the people aren't always where they say they will be. The, the bus isn't always where they say they're they're going to be in it, and it's, it's very difficult. Um, as far as uh, the MATP program, I know that there has been a change. Um, that program is run out of the Department of Human Services. I'm also glad you asked it because yesterday during my Senate hearing, I, I, um, I, I misspoke in that it is a federal regulation, uh, the MATP, where they provide options of how Departments of Human Services can implement the program, and I mistakenly said that it was a federal mandate, and, and it is not, so thank you for letting me correct that. Um, but uh, DHS uh, here has decided uh, to go uh, with uh, a new program, uh, the brokerage program. It's part of the fiscal code. We are very happy with our discussions with uh, DHS. They have given us uh, input and, and, and opportunities to comment back and forth as the RFA goes out and, and how they look at this. Um, we are comfortable. At, at first, we thought it was moving too quickly, but we're comfortable now. It's slowed down a bit. Uh, but we are hearing from our transit agencies, and they are quite concerned because as the system runs now, and, and I think it has been running well, um, they count on, on a portion of that money uh, coming through every year for shared ride, and that allows them to um, plan for the future. It allows them to grow and expand their, their uh, services, um, and they count on it for operating costs moving forward. And so without being able to count on those money, uh, coming in every year, um, they, they, you know, they're uncomfortable, and, and, and I can understand that, and they are concerned. So we want to make sure that DHS understands those concerns, that it is looked at um, as a whole, and that's why I'm, I'm really outlining the, the whole transit um, challenge. Uh, it, is, it is big, right, between the litigation, between the short... Uh, shortcoming and a lot of the, the money coming in. And now this MATP uncertainty and how it could impact our transit agencies, uh, we want to make sure that all concerns are at the table and everybody is being heard and everyone understands where these concerns are coming from. We don't want to see any of our transit agencies have to cut services because of these, um, you know, this MATP uh, transition. Uh, but as I stated earlier, we're very happy right now with our discussion with the Department of Human Services and how PennDOT has been a part of it and is being asked um, to explain you know, what our concerns are and, and how they're being addressed. And, and I would share the concern that um, uh, just as far as where we're going and what that does to the full picture for, for transit. Um, related to that, does, does um, PennDOT currently monitor the, the shared ride service grantees um, monitor the cost effectiveness and the compliance with program regulations? Is that something that, that PennDOT does? We, we require uh, strategic plans um, from our transit agencies. We do surveys. In fact, in doing surveys, that's where we got back um, the information that in many uh, of our areas, uh, particularly our rural areas, that over 60 percent of those survey um, uh, participants said that that is their only form of transportation, and without it, uh, they would not be able, uh, you know, to, to get around. And we have to take that into consideration. Transit is often put into a bucket of being a Philadelphia or Pittsburgh problem, and that is not true. And so I want to make sure that everybody understands that every single county in the Commonwealth will be impacted. And, uh, it, you know, it's seniors, it's people with disabilities, it's people who count on these services, and those that have fixed route services, there, you know, there's other implications as well. And, and I very much agree. Uh, specifically, one thing that has been pointed out to me is that under the current, under the current model, a, a shared ride program can, can allow uh, riders who are utilizing that service 
um, who have multiple reasons for their trip to kind of combine programs together. And there is a concern that under the uh, brokerage uh, plan that is proposed, that now you're talking about separate individual trips because we're talking about separate, completely separate programs. And certainly in a rural area, when you're dealing with moving somebody across large amounts of miles, I think there's a large concern there that if we can't provide these efficiencies by combining trips together, that there'd be a real problem. I understand that I am, um, I am out of time. I, I just would, would like to wrap up by uh, asking if um, PennDOT has looked at the, um, the risks to the transit program, uh, if you've been asked to study the risks um, that, that a, a, a full a brokerage model would provide, and would you be willing to do so if you haven't, if, if requested either by this committee or a member of this committee? We, we continue to having that conversation. We want to make sure that those concerns you know, are shared at, at DHS. As I said, our teams are working very well together, and it's my understanding as this uh, progresses that all of those concerns will be shared before uh, you know, moving further and, 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 and this uh, process uh, moves uh, you know, down the line. Uh, uh, but I, I'm impressed with your understanding. It's a very complex issue, and, and you really, truly understand it.